Winter has come. The eighth and final season of Game of Thrones premieres this Sunday on Crave. And this morning, we're joined by three mega fans to talk about what the end may hold. Warning, this chat does contain spoilers. If you've lived under a rock for the last two years, <laughs> turn away. Sean Ward, Liz Gallo, and Maggie Sanchu, thank you for coming in. Thank, Thank you. you, yes. you guys, fun. I thought I was a fan, and then I've read some of your <laughs> uh, your background and your predictions for this uh, next season. I realized like you guys know everything. I know nothing. Um, okay, so let's bring everyone up to speed really quickly. Season seven ended with Danny and John, now lovers, sailing towards Winterfell. That's where Sansa, Arya, and Bran are waiting for them. Meanwhile, Cersei is pregnant, apparently, but Jamie abandoned her after learning that she lied about her intention to help the rest of the Seven Kingdoms battle the Army of the Dead. You still with me? Speak Speaking of that army of the dead, they're on the way to the Seven Kingdoms after destroying the wall with a reanimated Viserion. So whose fate are you looking forward to learning the most, you guys? Who do you, who do you want to find out what happens to them? Well, I've been watching the show as if it's Daenerys' show. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I would almost bet money that she's the only one that we can consider safe out of everybody. Um, that's probably the most satisfying one who would stay put. Um, a lot of talk about possibly Arya. <laughs> Not lasting too much longer. Um, but uh, yeah, we had some great theories backstage. Yeah. What do you guys yeah. think? Yeah. Sansa, I want to know what happens to her. I'm, I'm a Sansa fan. She's my girl. <laughs> and I want her to survive and thrive. What about I, you? I mean, there's so many great characters on the show. I'm really interested in seeing what happens to characters like Theon Greyjoy. I mean, mm -hmm. he has been through so much. We went from being indifferent to him to hating him, and now we're back to loving him. <laughs> you know, I want to see that redemption arc really play out. Yeah, he's had a really a varied character path. Um, you've got some bold predictions for season eight. So uh, so let's start first. Sean, I loved what you said about Daenerys, because I've heard a lot of theories <laughs> that she's going to die, but I, like you're ma making me feel a little happy. Uh, Maggie, <laughs> though, let's talk about your predictions. Um, I think, I mean, the big thing in the show is the prince who was promised. Everyone thinks it's going to be John or Danny. Honestly, I think that's way too obvious. I'm voting Jamie Lannister all the way. Okay, so break this all down for me because okay. I heard this and was like, what? I think a lot of people are in my camp. So, so why do you think this? So there's a lot of different theories about this. One of the leading ones is the idea that in High Valyrian, everyone thinks that the translation is Lord and Light. So they think that the Lord of Light is going to be the one to destroy the army of the dead. But it's very, the translation is very, very similar to Gold and Hand. Oh. Gold and Hand, Jamie Lannister. It would also play into the theory that Jamie is going to kill Cersei. Which so it would just kind of all, it would kind of all tie in. And it would also finish off his redemption arc. You know, he's finally said goodbye to Cersei. He's moving on. He's going to the north. He needs to complete that arc, and this would be the perfect way to do it. Okay, and as Kristen, one of our producers, brought up in our meeting yesterday, we've already learned that there are some problems with that translation. Yeah, We talked about it last season. So, I mean, it just, it makes sense in my opinion. And you know what, again, John and Danny, too obvious. Let's go Jamie yeah. Lannister all the way. <laughs> that, would, that would be really exciting. <laughs> yeah. Can we all kind of have our list of like, who <laughs> cannot die? And if they die, it's gonna be like a red wedding moment for all of us. So who is on your list? Who cannot die? I would hope Arya wouldn't. I'm afraid she's gonna, but I would hope she wouldn't. She's just a too thrilling a character to watch. Um, Sansa, we kind of all want to see that. Enough bad stuff has happened to that family. We'd like to see her last. I don't know if she's gonna, though. Uh, those would be the two big ones for me. All the Starks. Yeah, I know, uh, right? My babies, they cannot die. <laughs> if they die, I will, I will cry a lot. A lot of tears. <laughs> yes. And I also, I'd like to see, you know, people like Grey Worm and Masende live, Jamie and Brian make it out, and Sam. I'd like to see Sam make it out. That list is way too long, Liz. <laughs> people are not <laughs> all going to live. Seriously. Yes, they have to. <laughs> Maggie, what about you? I mean, again, Sansa Stark. She has been through so much. Honestly, if they wanted to kill her, they would have done it already. They've had mm. ample opportunity. And I feel like, you know what? She's one of the most intelligent characters left in Westeros. She knows how to play the political game, but she has a strong moral compass. I think she's going to end up being the Lady of Winterfell. OK, so we are clearly Stark fans yeah. here on this couch. <laughs> yes. um, a lot of leading ladies in a in Game of Thrones, and so I think we're all rooting for them. When all is said and done, and the dust settles, the show is at its final end. Will somebody be sitting on the Iron Throne? And if so, who would it be? 
It would just be chaos. It would be anarchy <laughs> if there wasn't somebody sitting on the throne. <laughs> right. at the, the show end. wouldn't be ending. Right. right. But the thing we have to keep in mind is that the original creator of the show hasn't really been involved with it creatively. It's more about the producers of the show are now kind of taking the creative lead on it. So that leaves a gap that has to be filled, and that's usually filled with a little bit more of a poetic ending than maybe the original author might have given us. So I think the the ending's going to be just a little bit more kind of tidy Hollywood than we might have expected, which is why I'm kind of rooting for, or why I think that uh, Daenerys and John either one of them or maybe even the kid that they have is going to be sitting on the throne. Gosh. I just think that that's where it's pointing and because anything other than that is sort of like just giving us the lesson that nothing matters so why care you know what I mean? Okay so you guys at home are watching the video what I'm watching are Liz and Maggie shaking their heads while Sean is saying all of this. So what do you guys think is going to happen? Um, I think it's going to be John and Sansa. Really? On the throne. Yep. Yep. Definitely. Oh that's different. I mean, you don't I, think I there mean, can only be there. one? Well I think that it might be more John, but I think Sansa pushes him to take the throne, and I think they rule together as oh, a wow. team. Maggie, real quick, who do you think? We're forgetting two very important things. At the end of season two, Daenerys went into the House of the Undying and saw um, the Red Keep in snow and ashes burned to the ground. In season four, episode two, Bran had the same vision given to him by the Three-Eyed Raven. Daenerys's might not have been true, but Bran's... All of his visions have been correct so far. I think someone might rule, but I don't think it's going to be from the Iron Throne. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you guys, I just got chills thinking of it. <laughs> Sean, Liz, and Maggie, thank you guys so much for coming in. Oh, thanks thank for you. Thank you. OK, thank so you. we're actually going to bring you guys back after the season, and then we're going to compare all of your predictions to what actually oh, happens. Be so fun. It'll be so fun. <laughs>